Okay, we're going to look at graphing linear equalities with two variables. Basically x and y, though we don't have to call the x and y axis. This is going to be very similar to graphing linear equations that you learned. Just graphing them on an xy coordinate system. There's just a couple little things that we'll introduce in here. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, in this example... So we're going to graph a linear equality with two variables. Simply do the following steps. Our inequality is y is less than 2 thirds x minus 4. We're going to do just like we did before when the line was in y equals mx plus b form, our y-intercept and our slope. Now the only difference is if it's a less than or greater than, as opposed to an equals, we're going to put a dashed line. If it's a less than or equal or greater than or equal to, then we're going to put in a solid line. So this is one minor difference. You're going to still graph a line just as if that was equals, except it'll either be dashed or solid depending on this sign. So we'll start and we'll go down to our y-intercept of negative 4. Slope of 2 thirds means up to right 3. And the only thing you got to, again, look at, is it going to be solid or dashed? Well, there's no or equals to, so it's going to be a dashed line through those points. Okay, one difference. The only other difference now is you're going to have to shade either above or below the line. If it's less than or less than or equal to, less than is going down, you'll shade below. If it's greater than or greater than or equal to, you'll shade above. This was less than, so we'll just shade below. I just shade by drawing lines. If you want to make a solid shading, that's fine too. And that's it. You've completed the graph of y is less than 2 thirds x minus 4. In the next one, y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 5. Well, our y-intercept is 5. Put a point at 5. Negative 2, remember, means the same as negative 2 over 1, so you're going to count down 2, right 1. And your decision is, okay, am I going to put a solid or a dashed line? The or equals to part here says you're going to make it a solid line. And the only other thing you have to decide is, are you going to shade above it or below it? Now, as this, the line gets steeper, sometimes it gets a little bit difficult to, to see, okay, what's above or below. I always say the best thing to do is put your pencil right on the y-axis, move it up the y-axis, that's greater than, move it down, that's lower than, because sometimes when the line gets real steep, it gets tough to keep your perspective. This is greater than, so we're going to shade up. And that's it. You've completed that problem. You graph the line of y negative 2x plus 5, decide if it's solid or dashed, and then decide whether to shade above or below it. Now, just like before, it may not be in y mx plus b form. You might have to convert it to that form, which simply means get y by itself. Well, just as we did before when there was an equal sign here, start by subtracting 3x.
to get y by itself, divide by 6. And this gives you y is less than, well, negative 3 over 6 is negative 1 half x. 12 divided by 6 is 2. go ahead and graph this. The y-intercept is at positive 2. And negative 1 half is the same as negative 1 over 2 or 1 over negative 2. And again, we said if you like to graph left or right, put the negative with the top. So down 1, right 2. Down 1, right 2. And if you wanted to work from right to left, it's all in the same line. This would mean go up 1 and left 2. So now you decide, okay, is it a solid or dashed line? By looking at this, well, there's no or equals to, so it's going to be a dashed line. And your final decision, should I shade above or below that line? Well, that's less than, so you're going to shade below. Now these two, where they just have a y or an x, are a little bit different, but they're actually easier once you learn how to do them. As we talked about before, if you had y equals 2, you would go to where y is 2, right there, and you would draw a horizontal line. Now this will be dashed because it was not or equals 2. And which way is it less, going down or up? Going down. So you just shade below it. And that's it. The next problem, if you just have an X instead of a Y, go to where X is equal to negative 3. 1, 2, 3, negative right there. And that, if that was y equals, it would be a vertical line, and it will also be a vertical line here. And b and or equals will make it a solid line. Now this is one case where you don't shade up or down. With x, you're going to shade right or left if you have only an x. Well, which way does x get greater? Going to the right or going to the left? Well, if you go to the left, it gets more negative, it gets less. If you go to the right, it becomes less negative and then positive. So greater than, you would shade to the right. That's all there is to it. Just remember... It's just like graphing y equals mx plus b, except it'll be a solid or dashed line. And in all cases except the last one, you are going to shade above or below the line. And in the last case, you just shade right or left if you're given only an x. And that's pretty much it for graphing inequalities.